All right, it's project day again. What are we doing today? So, we made an auto sifter. Made it out of what we had, and I've been thinking of a way to improve it. So, what are we doing on Practical Junk? We're turning junk, we're gonna make something useful. So I've been thinking, I need something more stable than this. What did I do? I've already pre-cut a couple of boards. Essentially, I'm making a drop-in barrel lid. What's this gonna do? We're gonna put a couple of boards across it. And we're gonna set it inside. Then, we're gonna take this right here. You'll notice, well, if you can notice, this sits right over the edge perfectly. So I'm gonna cut a couple little slots for this to set in, and I'm gonna recess this just the depth of this board. What that do is gonna sit in there, hold it flush. It's gonna give me a little bit vi better vibration. It's gonna hold things in there sturdier. So let's get this Cut me a couple of strips. I went ahead and rounded them. Got the inside hole cut to fit right inside of this. So I'm gonna put a couple screws here, a couple screws here, and then we're gonna test fit this and see how it works. All right. Ooh, how close did I make this? This is the question. Wow, that fits snug. Like, pick the bucket up snug. I really cut that close. That fits in there beautifully. I mean, absolutely beautifully. I mean, literally, it's snug enough to pick the bucket up. Now, we're going to mount our little vibration device right here. Then we're going to move up to the next step. I mounted these right up against it, made it really snug. I got a couple of screws, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a couple of screws in the bottom too to make sure it's secured properly. Now, what are we gonna do? This has to recess the bowl about three quarters of an inch. That's the depth of that wood right there. Three quarters right here. I'm gonna notch just enough down into the side of this about three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna slot it so this will just sit right in. So we're gonna get that slotted. All right, I've got my handy dandy sifter in here. Now what I did to cut these, I took my little hand portable skill saw thingamajigger. I set the depth on it. I took and made a couple of marks and then sawed it out. And this is working better than I could imagined because you pull this up. It kind of it fits on here really snug, which is what I wanted. But what you got to do is you got to kind of get this around the lip, pull it over, that drops over, press it down. And because the way I marked it, I actually kind of get these a little bit of an angle in to make it tighten into it. This is really snug. I mean, absolutely snug. And that's what you want. I realized when I was doing this otter sifter, I needed everything pretty snug in there. So now... Let's see how this fits. And bam. That's sitting up with a little bit of a lip, but that's all right. Could cut those just a hair deeper, maybe a quarter inch. But I want this sitting snug against this in here. I want it pushed, so I don't want to cut too far. Now, if I got a little bit of a lip, okay, that, that's okay. The lip is all right. That's only maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around. Yep, that's right at about an eighth of an inch. So, that's great. That's what we want. We want this. When I push it in, it'll be snug right against the rim of that. So, now, everything's fitting good. Everything fits in the bucket good. This whole plan's coming together. Yes. One more upgrade we're gonna do. I wanna make an auto filler. So what I wanna do is drill the hole right here. First of all, so I can see what's going on, but then, so I can take this funnel, stick it in there, and auto fill. Now, as you can see there, that funnel gets really, really tiny at one end. I don't like that. So what I've done, Measured the bottom roughly. That's yeah, close to about an inch and a half. 
Then I found the corresponding bit. Then we're gonna do a test fitting. Just an old piece of wood, drilled it out. Cause I don't want this lip going too far in. And as you can see, that actually works beautifully. Sets right there. But what do we gotta do here? That end's gotta be cut off. I need a bigger feed hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my handy dandy Markerito here. We're gonna mark this. We're gonna cut that end off. So you got a bigger fill hole. But when I do this, I'm gonna do something else. Right, we got this mounted. I got to thinking, I want this secure. So that way when this is vibrating it, it's making this feed good. Cause the more secure and tight things are, the better this is gonna work. So I went ahead and put a little bitty screw in there just to hold this in place. I'm thinking about slotting it so I can pull it in and out, but we'll test it out first. So everything's mounted. Went and got some ash out of the house because that's probably one of the toughest things that I have to sift out. And we're going to test this out. All right, we're going to do test one. Let's see how this works. Hopefully it's gonna work really well and a whole lot more efficient than my other one was doing. So, we're gonna see how this feeds first. Hopefully it works great. I can tell you one thing, it is a lot quieter. The other one that I was using had so much play. I mean, this is great. Got some bigger chunks in here. Wow, this is so much more quiet. I mean, this is a significant difference in my other one. The way I had it sitting there, it's just vibrating and making so much noise. I mean, I could run this in my house. It's, it's turned halfway up. It's barely making any noise. I'm gonna crank it all the way up and see what it does. Now the bucket's dancing. Definitely securing this right here is making everything feed faster. I'm gonna show you. All right, check this out. Just gonna get a scoop, put it in here. I mean, look how fast that's, I mean, it's feeding it really fast. Working great. I've gotten a couple pieces of little charcoal that got stuck in there, I just pulled them out. But it's really hard to see down in there. This is just working, you look at it. This is what having the lid up. Put the lid back in there. And it's just, it's pulsing through there and vibrating this and it's making it sift really fast. I want to show you guys something I made real quick. When I was sifting my ash, some of the bigger chunks of, you know, coal and little pieces of unburnt wood, um, I keep little scrap pieces of wire and I had this laying around, made kind of a quick sifter out of it for just the bigger pieces, you know, preformed it. Took me about maybe 10 or 15 minutes to make this. Got a couple little zip ties, cut it real fast, but worked really well. Everything flowed through it, picked up the larger chunks, could sift those out. And that way big pieces weren't going down in here. Um, actually helped the process out sifting the ash significantly after I made this. But quick fix. Works great, formed it on here, and just another addition to make this adventure a lot easier and to speed things up. Great upgrade to my auto sifter. Very happy with this project. I feel like it's complete now. Um, you know, made the first one, wanted to see, kind of mess with it. Been tossing a few ideas, you know, around in my brain as to how can I make this better? You know, as I've been using the, the first one I made, you know, I just kind of started getting this picture in my head. So 
very, very, very happy with the results. Can't wait to see how it works with my sand, cleaning the dust baths, because it is working so much more efficiently just with the ash. Probably the ash was the most time consuming part. It seemed like it, take, it took a lot longer. Right now, this has cut that time even to half of what it was taking me. I've been sitting here sifting it out, so I can't imagine how much faster it's gonna sift out my dust bass, my sand. Um, really excited about this upgrade. It's something I was kind of putting some thought into because I've been using the other one. It worked great. You know, didn't cost me anything. I mean, neither did this really. I mean, it cost me an old funnel, a couple of screws and some old wood I had laying around. Took me about an hour to build it. Took my time, you know, cutting the lid, you know, the circle, you know, making it fit tight. But this fits in here really snug. Really, really is doing a great job. So hopefully this helps somebody out. You know, I, I like to sift everything. I like to reuse. I like to recycle. So this is going to help me keep my pens cleaner. It's going to help me take care of my birds better. And they're going to have some very clean dust baths. So I am going to finish sifting this sand out. And then I'm going to try out some of these dust baths. See how much faster it cleans those. Guys, thank you for watching Practical Junk. I like to take junk like you've seen today. Turn it into something usable doing things for a minimum cost and making things more efficient you know this is going to help me on my quail journey check us out like subscribe i'm trying to make new creative videos on how to make things better while you're raising and caring for your animals or in this case my quail have a great day